that one of my most viewed video was how I lost weight and a lot of you guys when I've been showing outfits you want to see a workout or like diet video um, I've been a little bit more consistent now with what I've been eating although I do slip up like every once in a while you know I'm like not perfect I will have bread and I will have like um, cheese and dairy and stuff like that but what I do is every week on Sundays I go to Trader Joe's and I buy about $40 worth of groceries uh, and what I always get is I'll get a carton of eggs I always get coffee um, they're lactose free coffee creamer their lactose dairy free coffee creamer and some things like the bimbap bowls the um like frozen salmon and um a box of strawberries apples bananas maybe clementines and popcorn unsalted unbuttered and walnuts walnuts or almonds or some kind of nut okay so that's kind of what i get every single week been pretty consistent I'm a very kind of consistent person once I like find something I like I kind of stick with it so what I'll do is on Sunday nights I'll boil the whole entire carton of eggs and I'll make sure I'll boil them for like 20 minutes I get boil them for a lot longer than you're supposed to boil them just to make sure they're all cooked and what I'll do is I'll put those eggs and uh, once I'm done boiling them back in the carton I put them in my fridge okay and then I take all the groceries, most of the groceries that I bought, like the fruits and vegetables, nuts, and I bring them with me to work. So what I'll do every single morning is I'll go into my fridge, I'll grab two eggs, two hard boiled eggs, and I actually just put them in my purse. I know that's bad, but it's better than having uncooked eggs in your purse. I'll put them in my purse, and then at work, when I get to work, I'll drink a cup of coffee, like a very, very like probably 20 ounces, 16, 20 ounces of coffee with my lactose-free creamer, um, lactose-free, um, dairy-free creamer. I don't, I try to avoid dairy as much as I can because it just, I think it makes my skin break out. I don't know. I just, I've been having a better life now that I don't have dairy in me anymore. So I drink a large cup of coffee and then I'll eat two eggs and I'll maybe put some sriracha sauce or like salt and pepper on there and then I'll have a banana and an apple and that's pretty much consistently what I eat every single morning and I find that eggs are really good because they have a lot of protein and they keep you full without making you feel sick. The thing about eggs is like you have to be aware of cholesterol. Now I'm not at an age where I have to worry so much about it but what I'll do is I will only eat half the yolk so I take out half the yolk on each egg so I basically eat one egg and the apple and the banana is just like fruit in your diet and the coffee gets me up and running for the day okay. Then for lunch um, for lunch, sometimes I kind of skip lunch, sometimes I don't. It really depends. Lunch, I'll eat maybe, uh, we have a taco truck, which I know sounds bad, but you can kind of get healthy options there if you get like rice and chicken. I'll usually get rice and chicken, maybe a little bit of beans, and I'll just eat that. I try to avoid gluten products as much as I can, so that's all gluten free. Um, and then sometimes at work, I'll snack on my strawberries that I bring, oranges that I bring, um, and walnuts. So I'll kind of snack on that. And then for dinner, dinner I usually go out to eat, um, but if I do go out to eat, I will try to, you know, either split my meal with someone or, you know, get something that's pretty healthy. There are times when I am so busy I have to go to the drive through um, at McDonald's or something, and what I'll get is I'll get a double cheeseburger I'll get a double cheeseburger or like a hamburger and I'll take off one of the buns so I think that has a lot of protein um, so in that if you have a lot of protein without having a lot of um, you know carbohydrates or gluten so you know I do eat bread sometimes but I try to avoid it as much as I can um, so I'll do that at McDonald's sometimes I'll get their um, like yogurt uh, fruit and yogurt parfaits or I'll get like their chicken sandwiches and just eat the chicken so I just try to eat the protein and not the bread and all the other stuff that comes with it so and I live in LA so I I'm in my car all the time I'm driving everywhere and um, I get super hungry and I don't have time to like eat sometimes sometimes I skip eating which is really bad I know you're not supposed to I just it's just a matter of time and convenience I don't cook and I'm not a foodie kind of person so in my car I have um, some walnuts and almonds and popcorn and I'll just snack on that in traffic and I find that that kind of helps me um, you know maintain like it helps me become not hungry and gives me a little bit of a boost for if I can't make it to dinner if I don't have time to eat lunch I'll just snack on that kind of stuff I'm not a foodie I probably will never post and a video on how to make the best chocolate chip cookies because for me food is like I need to eat it so I don't feel hungry but if I 
I don't love eating for the sake of eating. <laughs> I love, you know, I love shopping for shopping. I love makeup for makeup, but I don't love eating. So I think that also helps in maintaining my weight because when I'm really stressed out, I won't eat. Um, my appetite just is suppressed. So that kind of, um, I think, helps me in maintaining my weight. And also you can see that I really try to eat a lot of fresh foods um, and a lot of protein and not a lot of carbohydrates, which I think really, really helps. Wear to the gym. So let me share with you guys what um, I like to wear. So this, this is going to be really awkward. Sorry for the mess. Okay, so this is a tank top from Forever 21, and I love it. I think it was like $15, and I just, I love how um, it has like nice, like it kind of like, has nice ridges here and it also has a sports like a bandeau bra but I like to wear a bra underneath it because I feel like it's not as secure um, and yeah I really really like the forever these these tanks from forever 21 so I've tried I've tried like shirts and stuff from Lululemon and stuff but honestly it's not worth like the $60 you pay because the forever 21 one ones are really great and they are tight around the sides which I really like um, and I've washed this several times and it feels great and what I'll do is I'll just wear this as a tank top too and put like a cardigan over it so yeah um, I don't really like to wear um, shorts when working out because I'm just a little bit weird about, you know, if you're doing yoga and stuff, if you're doing yoga and like there's weird people around you, I don't know, I just don't like wearing shorts. Um, but if I'm like running and I like need to wear shorts, I have these shorts from Old Navy and um, they're just normal running shorts. I don't know, I don't feel like I need to buy like expensive Nike shorts and the thing I like about Old Navy gym wear is I like how they have like the little underwear inside so it keeps you secure um, so like you know weirders won't be looking in here but I don't really wear these kind of shorts really ever to work out because um, if I when I work out I usually go uh, spinning or do yoga so I don't really wear big shorts like these um, I have these shorts these I don't wear that often I used to wear them when I took dance in school but I'd wear tights and I'd put these over the tights which is why they're so short. Um, but here are the pants. They're just, these are from Express. They're only like 10 bucks. And I like the high waistedness and the short. They're really short, actually. They barely cover your butt cheeks. So I don't wear these alone, really. Well, very rarely do I wear them alone. And then um, for pants, I love Lululemon. I know they're super overpriced. Um, yeah. But these are the ones I have. I have this pair. And I, okay, the reason why I will spend a lot for Lululemon pants is just they, I wear them outside the gym. So I know people are like, oh, you shouldn't wear yoga pants outside doing yoga, but I don't really care. I love, like, in the winter time, I'll just wear, like, Lululemon's sweatshirt and sneakers. And I think it makes you. It gives, I don't know, it just, it makes you look hot without trying to be hot, you know? Because the Lululemon pants, they make you look really nice. So, um, these are ones I have here. They're just, they're all black. And, um, they got the, um, the pattern here. Um, and I think, you know, I will pay a lot for Lululemon pants because I wear them all the time. I wear them not only when I work out, but I wear them just, like, lounging around. And then I have these. Lululemon ones. I got these off eBay. They're a little bit too short for me. Um, but yeah, they're these kinds. These are a size 4. The other one's a size 2. This is a size 4. These I worn to death. And I like them because they're really, really long. So I wear like, um, I really like longer yoga pants. And um, they're the reversible ones that they have. I love American Apparel stuff for their quality. They're really, really great. Um, quality items so I have about a few pairs of these laying around and then for my shoes um this is like the only time I wear flat shoes um these I don't even know what they are I needed a pair of sneakers and I need a pair of gym shoes tennis shoes sneakers I don't know what's the correct non-Minnesotan way to say it but I found these on Amazon um what I did was I just googled or I Amazon like like gym shoes and these are the top sellers with the highest ratings so I just bought them they're like 60 or 70 dollars they're a6 and they are size seven and a half and they're the called t055n 
the Dual Max. They're really nice. I think they're running shoes. I bought them when I was in San Francisco and I wanted to run like across the bridge and stuff, but I never did. <laughs> so yeah, I really want the pink, the bright pink shoes. I think those are really, really fun to work out in, but you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy another pair of tennis shoes just because they're pink. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I work out in and what I wear to the gym and what I eat. And for all of the workout exercises, videos, whatever, it will be listed below because I already made a lot of videos about it so I don't need to do it again. But um, yeah, I hope that these tips helped for you guys. And, um, and um, I have other videos on like how to achieve your goals and all that kind of stuff because I think working out, like trying to lose weight and working on being healthy as much as it is like doing the right workouts and like eating right, it's also about trying to achieve something, um, which definitely takes a lot of persistence and hard work. So definitely check out those videos and sign up for my website and follow me on Instagram, Twitter and all that great stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.